Hi all, just before you watch this video, through the video I refer to the ball head as the K36. I do it numerous times. Why? I'm not quite sure because the ball head is actually the N36. Here it is, I have it with me. So when you see the video and I refer to the ball head, I am talking about the N36 ball head. There you go. Enjoy the video. If you're watching this uh, video, it's possibly because you're interested in tripods. Particularly, this is the Inorel RT55C carbon fiber tripod. The ball head is a K36. Now, uh, this is not my first tripod. This is my second tripod. This is a vlogging tripod for me. Well, it's not only a, a vlogging tripod. I'll let you know a little bit more about that after. But why have I got a second in a rail tripod, you ask? Well, after I bought the um, RT75C, which you are sat on at the moment, I was very impressed with it after using it for about two months. And I got around to thinking that I would like to have um, a vlogging tripod, a second tripod that, when, that I could just shove in the bag, side of the bag, so when I'm doing B-roll, I could put my camera on it, do the walking back and forth bit as you do. And also when I'm next to the camera with my tripod, I could turn around and talk to the, my second camera um, about what I was doing composition and wise. So I had a look online and I saw uh, that Inrel had a lightweight tripod. Uh, it weighs 1.3 kilos with the, um, with the head. Now that isn't particularly light, there are lighter tripods around, but uh, it had some features on it that I quite liked. Um, the legs are quite thin, but you can take the feet off and you can put spikes in them, which come with the package that I had. And although it's 1.3 kilos, it doesn't feel it. It's quite, it is quite light. Stability? Like all tripods, I suppose, I really wouldn't use it in high winds unless I was had it quite low to the ground. Now, it's, the, the legs on it are a little bit splayed today, just to show you, because I didn't want to stand, stand up. I wanted to sit down to talk about it. And I would generally put my bag on the hook. It's got a hook to weigh it down. Now, sometimes I have found when I've been out that I put my bag on there to weigh it down and the bag is not touching the floor and it will swing back and forth. So my solution for that, and I haven't brought it with me today, is a bungee cord, a short bungee cord that extends so that the bag rests on the floor so it is still stable, so it will move and then stretches it taut. To, so that is the solution if you're, if you're looking. I think somebody I've seen use it online and. I must have been, I couldn't have thought about that myself, so I must have seen it online. So what I've been doing is uh, using it as a B-roll camera, a B-roll tripod, but I've also been using it out when I've been hiking. Instead of taking my big tripod with me, and I wanted to just use one camera and one tripod, uh, one camera, one lens to do a bit of walking, I'll take this with me because... Um, Although I, I do take a lot of hand, handheld shots, I sometimes like to use the tripod to, to, to slow myself down. So this is, this is ideal. As I said, uh, the legs are a little bit thin, but for, for, for the purposes that I've been using it, it's fine. What else can I tell you about it? The head is a K36. I don't know whether I've mentioned that. Uh, maximum height on it, 63 inches, which is quite tall. It folds to 14 inches, I think, just 14 inches. Let's have a little look. The legs are twist lock legs. Some people don't like twist lock legs. I quite like them. I had uh, clip lock legs with my, Monf my Monfrotto a few years ago. 
and I found that they would, well, I caught my fingers in them more than once. So these are, are a lot better. Now, uh, oh, this is a thing I shouldn't have, show, should have showed you. It's got a double extended height thing. Have I done it right? Uh, so this thing actually extends twice. What do I feel about that? I've not used it like that, but if it was dead calm, it was summer, and I wanted to be up over a fence or something like that, I would extend it as far as I could. Yeah, and I'd put the, put the hook on it. It's quite a nice idea. I've put my GoPro on it to do some time lapse, and my GoPro is very light, so yeah, it's quite handy for that. Oh, I was folding it up to show you how it was folded, so. I like to yep. move that around a bit so it extends, it folds up pretty short. So there you are. It'll fit in the side of my bag. Um, this is my low pro bag. I generally put it upside down, that's right. And then I've got a couple of grip, a uh, couple of cords there that I'll tighten it up. I've actually fitted that in with the bag tightener already in. So, but yeah, it fits in pretty well. Uh, so when I'm hiking, I can take it with me for the day or half a day. Don't seem to be able to do a, a full day's hike in these days. But uh, yeah, it's quite a quite a nice tripod. Now, how much did I pay for it? The truth being, I didn't actually pay for it. I um, contacted Inneral and explained to them what I wanted to do. To, I wanted to try out a, a, a tripod for vlogging. I didn't mention the hiking bit and I didn't actually think about that until it came back, to be honest. So... Inarel said to me, I said to them, you know, any chance of using it for a couple of weeks to have a look to see if it suits my needs and uh, I'll send it back to you. And they said, well, no, we'll send it to you and um, let us know what you think about it. That was five months ago. So I could have done a, a review on it pretty, you know, pretty quickly, but I thought I'd like to give it an extended uh, use uh, which is what I've been doing so I've been using it, using it as a as a vlogging tripod and I've also been using it as a hiking tripod would I recommend it yeah it's gone as I said it's got things that are the legs are let's, let's get out, the last leg there you go so the last leg is pretty thin the dimensions which I shall put up on the screen in a second. It comes with a pack for, put that in there. It comes with a pack with Allen keys in. Um, it also, I'll bring that to you. You have a three eighths and quarter inch tripod mount, which you can turn around on the head as well, depending on which you want to use. And there are the spikes. I don't know whether you can actually see that. Uh, let's turn the camera around. Yeah, you can actually see that. There you go. So the spikes come, I'm gonna put one in now and show you. So they fit in and they give it a bit more stability. If anything, I'd like the, the spikes to be a bit longer. Um, just to, you know, I've not tried them on the beach. Um, I'm due to go to the beach next week or the week after, so I might try them on the beach to see how they are there in sand, because I would imagine that uh, they would give uh, some stability in sand as well. I don't know. So, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice tripod. Uh, so if you're looking for a, a lightweight tripod, have a look at it. Um, you'll find the links on Amazon to NRL. Um Since I bought that one, 
And since I've had this one, as I said, I didn't actually pay for this. Inerel sent it to me and I said I would do a review on it. It's a bit of a long-term review because, as I said, I've had it now five months. So, um, and been using it as a B-roll camera and as a as a hiking lightweight hiking tripod as well when I go for walks. But have a look. But um, I've noticed that um, Inerel seem to be changing um, their uh, catalog, shall I say, online. Um, you can now get the the bowls that go under. Uh, certain tripods which are very popular at the moment, uh, the levelling bowls. Uh, they also, um, I think I've noticed that they now starting to supply short columns. When I wrote back to them in July, they said they would make me a, a short column for that tripod, but they also showed me that I can use it without the short column, which is what I've done a couple of times when I've had been very low down to the ground and wanted to take the center column out which is about 12 inches on on that camera that you were on that tripod that you were sat on um, i've taken it out takes a couple of minutes to do it when you've got time and i've used it without a without a, a center column but they are now um providing um short columns sort of three to four inch columns to go onto there which is quite a nice touch i think they're a company who uh, uh, fairly new they're learning stuff their quality their, their, the quality is very good I have to say so there's the Inerel RT55C carbon fiber with the K36 ball head on from Inerel